Hello and welcome to a slightly different video. Uh, this is going to be another one of my guides, but it's not going to be a gameplay guide. Instead, this is a guide on how to figure out whether your PC can run Planet Zoo, what you have to look for when buying a PC for Planet Zoo, and possible alternatives if you only have a cheap PC or a low budget and you can't really afford going up. So, this is just like my basic zoo, because, you know, I wanted to have a not like a black screen or something. Um, first of all, if I sent you this link about a subreddit, uh, thank you for clicking on it. I would have loved to post this video in the subreddit just right away because a lot of people seem to be confused about this, but I can't because the subreddit is very strict about, you know, um, self-promoting policies, which I understand perfectly acceptable. Uh, if you found this over YouTube, <laughs> hello and welcome <laughs> to you as well. Um, right, so this is my game. So my PC is slightly older. And um, as you can see, I can still run this on top graphics. So first things first, you don't need some sort of beast with an i9 and a GTX 2080. It's, it's going to be a benefit, but you don't need it. Now let's take a look at what you do need. First of all, you need a Windows PC. Uh, there are emulators for Mac, but they are going to lower your game's performance. And uh, it's just never going to be as good as it would be on PC. Plus you'd have to spend more money on a Mac that could run it to the same level as a PC. Um, but I think that was one of the less asked questions. So the more popular question is, can my laptop run this game? So here's the general idea. If you have a Windows laptop, then it is possible for your laptop to run this game. You don't need a tower PC. But it's going to be more expensive. Um, so let's say you want to get a PC for 800 bucks, you'd probably have to spend like 1100 at least to get a laptop that's going to run it as well. Um, a lot of laptops don't have, uh, you know, graphics cards. They just have uh, sort of an implemented one. They don't have their own specific graphics card, which uh, you should have for this game if you want to run it on high graphics. So what you're going for is usually a gaming laptop. They are a bit bigger, a bit heavier. They have their own air conditioning, so to speak. Um, uh, that's what you want to go for if you want to run this game smoothly. And once again, if we say a PC of around 600, 700 euros can run this game, you'd be looking at a laptop at a higher price. So, like 900 probably. Uh, there's always the option to buy one used, which would lower the price, or you know, to look for a sale. But um, if you're just looking to save money, uh, I would definitely recommend getting a desktop PC. Yes, you have to buy a monitor and a keyboard and stuff, but it's still going to be cheaper and you can go for a better performance in general. And, uh, you know, you can also just switch similar parts out, which isn't always the thing with a laptop. Ah. Now, you can just go into the Steam page uh, and check the system requirements, the minimum and the recommended system requirements. Now, I am running this game beneath the recommended system requirements. I don't have a GTX 1070, I have a 1060, so I'm like slightly underneath it. I can still run the game very well, however, at around like 5,000 visitors it really stops working, like the FPS drop and everything. You will always experience an FPS drop at 6,000 plus visitors, no matter how good your PC is, because that's how the game is. I'm afraid, like, it happens. Um, but let's say you want to play this game on max graphics, you know, build decently sized zoos and all that. Try to be above the uh, minimum requirements and, you know, like, roughly around the recommended requirements. Um, uh, with minimum, we're looking at you could play all the scenario zoos, so all the campaign career zoos, at minimum graphics and it would work. This is not the minimum requirement, okay? So, like, the minimum requirement doesn't give you a great game. So, be aware of that. And, you know, just try to go there. There are a lot of websites online, in case you're not that, uh, you know, good with IT, that let you compare. Um, items. So is this graphics card better than this one? Do I want an NVIDIA or an AMD card? If I get this NVIDIA card or this AMD card, which one is better? Stuff like that. There are sites that you can check out. Just Google it. You know, like Google, I don't know. NVIDIA GeForce GTX uh, 1070 performance. And there's a lot of comparison pages. They'll give you a number. You can compare that to another one. Um, you'll sort of have to mesh your way through it. Uh, one thing, 
it says that you should uh, you only need six gigabyte RAM. I highly recommend going for the sixteen uh, eight. Sorry, I highly recommend going for the sixteen gigs of RAM. It's not going to be that much more expensive, but it's definitely worth it. And um, yeah, so uh, that's definitely one you want to keep in mind. Also, as they already said, the minimum specifications may change during development. So with additional add-ons and stuff, which is why I always recommend sticking above the minimum requirements if you can afford it. Okay, so now that we've quickly talked about that, uh, the reason why I'm not naming specific setups that you should run is because, you know, in every country different parts are usually different uh, different price points. Um, there might just be a sale on a computer with slightly different parts than what I recommend that would perform just as well. So, um, you know, you can always message me if there is a specific computer and you're not sure whether it can run it or not. Just send me a message or something. Um, but I won't, like, show you that one PC that you need. <laughs> because there is no one perfect PC for this unless you just run everything at max. Um, so now, let's say you're a student, you have 500 euros, you need a laptop for university, you can't spend more than that, what do you do? Well, the answer is called GeForce Now. Now, a little warning, GeForce Now requires a stable internet connection, stable upload and a stable download. So, um, if that is not available for you in your country or in the area you're in or whatever, GeForce Now is not an alternative, I'm afraid. But if you are one of those people who has decent internet connection, um, do definitely consider it. There is a free version of GeForce Now online that you can test out, um, where you can test the game for one hour at a time and, you know, just figure out whether your PC can run it, whether your internet can support it. Now, what is GeForce Now? By the way, GeForce Now is not the sponsor of this video. Um, before anyone thinks that, I'm just mentioning it because for games like this, then have relatively high requirements that you just cannot run on cheap like yes you can run it on a 600 euro computer but even then we're probably looking at like okay-ish performance and you'd have to look for a computer on sale you'd have to look around a lot stuff like that so it's you know in that class of games um is that GeForce now is cheap and it requires something that in total costs you less which is a decent internet connection a lot of people have that anyways and you know paying 300, uh, 30 uh, I don't know, euros a month for internet and then 5 euros for GeForce Now, you still have a lot of time until you reach the 800, 900 euros for a computer. So, um, what is GeForce Now? GeForce Now is a streaming service. Essentially, what that means is you connect with GeForce Now via internet connection. You get, uh, you know, like a high-end PC assigned, essentially that does all the mathematics. That PC plays the game, okay? Like, that's where everything happens. All your laptop or PC does is view the stream and give the other computer input. So that's where the upload comes uh, in hand. So when I click on the screen, I'm not running GeForce Now, but if I were, if I were clicking on the screen, GeForce Now would register that and tell it to the device that's actually running the game, which is not your device, and that's how that works. Um, oh, there's a, which is really why all that matters is um, a decent internet connection with both decent upload and decent download. GeForce Now, as far as I'm aware, is available in all countries. Uh, you can run it from your laptop, you can run it from your PC. It runs the game at pretty good settings. Um, and yeah, if you want to figure out whether your internet connection supports it or not, just give the free trial. Um, it's around five euros, so probably around the same amount in, you know, dollars, five, six dollars or something like that. Uh, you can always just look it up. It's a monthly fee. And you can just stream any game for six hours at once, and then you, like, have to log out, essentially. And it's definitely a good option for people who don't have a high budget, or, you know, can't afford anything. Who don't want to afford anything more expensive, which is perfectly fine if you know if you only want to play this game, um, and you have decent internet connection, I would definitely recommend GeForce Now. Um, so let's say you are not that person and you have a lot of money, and um, you know you don't really care how much you spend, or you don't want to waste money. Here's the thing. I think I've mentioned this beforehand, but Planet Zoo has sort of an internal heart cap. Meaning, at some point, no matter how good your PC is, 
you will get FPS drops, you will get lag, etc. And it's at around, I believe, like 8,000 visitors. No matter how good your PC is, getting all species in one zoo is going to be a pain if you want to keep the zoo running and build a lot of things and stuff like that. So instead of just going for the most expensive PC, unless that's what you want to do, <laughs> you know, um, what I would recommend is just, you know, going for a, a decent budget, like uh, my current budget for my new PC is 1,500 euros, which is going to be perfectly fine. I'm going to run this game as, as well as possible. And, you know, just go through the recommended settings of all of them a bit, uh, you know, go up a level or two and you'll be perfectly fine. You don't need an i9 processor and, um, you know, like a GTX 2080. It doesn't hurt to have it, but it won't increase your performance by an amount where I say, yeah, you have to get that to have the maximum performance. Um, so yeah, I believe that's about it. But yeah, don't get it if you don't have Windows. If you want a laptop, get a gaming laptop. Expect it to be a bit more expensive. And um, expect it to be loud. Gaming laptops have an inbuilt um, cooling system, and that is usually a sort of fan that blows wind. And it will get loud. <laughs> Just a warning. Uh, it will have to cool it down properly. So, one more thing that I wanted to show, in case you didn't know where this is, is uh, let me just see. In here, you can go to the guest settings and you can actually limit the maximum guests. Right? You go to limit number of guests and then you set your maximum guests. That is instantly going to dock your guests at a certain amount, which is perfect if you're playing in sandbox mode and you don't have a strong PC. Just go in there, tell it, hey, only give me like 500 visitors or something. You don't care about money. So, um, you know. All of these people won't take up your capacities, and you'll be fine. Um, yeah. I hope this helped someone out there. Um, if you know someone else who would like to have this information, feel free to send it to them. There's also a lot of very, very helpful people on the subreddit if you want to figure out whether a specific PC works or not. Just go in there, post it. Uh, it's just very difficult if people are like, hey, what PC can run this game? Because a lot of PCs can run it, it just depends on what you want and your budget. So if you're asking me or anyone else for advice, uh, please include a budget. Please include whether you want to have like like a small zoo with like six, seven habitats, which is what this is going to be, or whether you want to have a larger zoo, what graphics settings you want to play at, if there's anything else you want to use that PC or laptop for. Uh, so, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Um, as I know I didn't give any specifics, but just try to figure it out with the system requirements on the Steam website. Try to stick above the minimum. If you have the money, stick a bit above the recommended. And then you should be fine. And um, yeah, as I said, if you have specific questions, you can just message me here. You can message me on Reddit. I'm called Irelia there as well. Or on Twitter or, you know, anywhere where you can find me. And as I said, the subreddit is great. So, if you have any specific questions, you can also just ask the people there. Um, yeah, I hope this helped. I hope you'll get to experience Planet Zoo soon on your own computer or laptop or via GeForce Now. And I hope it's going to be just as much fun for you as it is for me. Feel free to check out my other videos. Feel free to check out some of the other guides I made for the game in case you're interested in those. If you want to see how I built this zoo, it's my streaming zoo. So. And that is shown in my stream every Friday on Twitch. And um, if you want to see any of my other zoos that I build, you can find them on screenshots uh, on Twitter or, of course, also on my channel. So, yeah, I hope I'll see you again.